Hey what's up guys, I'm Shubhanka from TechCrunch Gadgets and Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL are just right around the corner. It has been leaked so many times that we now clearly know what it's gonna look like. We also know what the user interface is gonna look like and which Android Pie features are gonna be more profound. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to get Google Pixel 3 look on any Android phone. No root required. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First, we need the Google Pixel Launcher. For that, I'll go to the Play Store and search for Rootless Pixel Launcher. Now, Rootless Pixel Launcher is an app by a developer named Ami Zaidi and is an exact replica of the Google Pixel Launcher in Pixel devices. In fact, it has been ported from Pixel devices. So, I'll just install it. Now I'll open it and as you can see it looks exactly like the launcher on Pixel devices. It's buttery smooth. Now it has many features right up its sleeve. If I go to settings, they will find notification dots, at a glance, at icon to home screen, display google app, theme. Now you can choose theme from dark, light to automatic. I prefer it automatic. Now there's an option called icon pack. Now if you download icon packs, from the Play Store, you can use different icon packs using this launcher. I'll come back to it later. Now, to display the Google app on the left hand side of the screen, just click on it to enable it. And this comes to the second step, Ruthless Pixel Bridge. Now, go to the link in the description and they'll find a link titled Ruthless Pixel Bridge. This will take you to this APK Mirror webpage and from there, download Rootless Pixel Bridge. Just click on OK to download it. Now just simply install it. Click on install. Done. Go back to home and now go to the Pixel Launcher settings and click on display Google app. Now when you go back to home, the Google feed or as Google calls it Google Discover app will work flawlessly. Next up is Live Wallpapers. Now, the Pixel experience is incomplete without the Google Live Wallpapers. These are some pretty beautiful wallpapers. So if you want these wallpapers, first you need to go to the App Store and download the wallpaper app by Google. Now after you have downloaded it, go to the link in the description below and this will take you to the Google Pixel 3 Live Wallpapers download page. It has already been ported by XDA members. So just go towards the bottom of the page and they will find options to download the Pixel 3 Live Wallpapers for your device. Now based on your operating system, download from any of the four links and just install it like a normal APK. Then now there are many Live Wallpapers to choose from. Now you can interact with these wallpapers. Amazing silhouette that change with the time of the day. Ones like Bloom Sunrise that you can interact with. It's just amazing. Next up is Google Pixel Icons. For that, I'll use PixUI Icon Pack. These are flat design icon packs that look exactly like the Google Pixel icons. So I'll just click on install. After installing the icon pack, I'll go to Launcher Settings. Then go to the Icon Pack option and from there I'll select Pixel Icon Pack. Now when I go to the home screen, you'll see the icons look exactly like the ones on Pixel devices. It's amazing. Now let's come to Android Pie features. First up, the notification panel. This notification panel is the new default one in Android Pie 9.0. To get this notification panel on any Android device, just hit up the Play Store and search for PowerShade. Just install it and then simply open it. Now to run this feature, just click on not running. Now it will show you two to four permissions depending on device. Now you just need to enable them. Now when you go back to the home screen and check the notification panel, it will just work perfectly. Android P has a new kind of volume slider that pops up from the left of the screen. It's quite useful and fluid. To get this new volume slider, just hit up the Play Store and search for volume pie. Just click on install, then open and as you can see, you need to give these permissions. So let me give them. 
now I've given all the permissions and now when I go back to the home screen and click on the volume up button you'll see the new volume slider it's very easy to use next up is navigation gestures Android 9.0 has a new kind of gestures called the navigation gestures just like the iPhones to get this kind of navigation gesture on your phone go to the Play Store and search for navigation gestures it's an app developed by the XDA just click on install open it and just go to the welcome screen just you need to grant some permissions now to grant secure settings permission you need to run a command from your computer this command just click on I need help and this will take you to a YouTube video and they will find all the instruction I'll leave a link in the description below after giving all the permission just click on enable gesture pill to enable the gesture navigations now they will find many options just click on gestures and they will find swipe left for back swipe up for another function swipe down for height pill now you can customize these settings just click on once to go home click on right to go to the overview menu long press to open assistant you can also hide it and again click on it to pull it back up it works just fine the last but not the least smart rotation now android p comes with a new smart rotation features that helps you choose your device orientation manually inside an app for this feature use an app called dynamic rotation you can get it on the google play store just install it i've already installed it now I'll just click on open I'll just click on the play button it will ask for some permissions click on yes just give it the permissions it requires and as you can see it's already running now let's for example go to Chrome now when I change the orientation they'll see a small orientation button just click on it and the device orientation will change now again when I go back to vertical orientation you'll see a small button just click on it and it will shift to the vertical orientation it can be really helpful when you're just lying down or reading an article and it's just annoying when the device just shifts its orientation. Now you can control that manually and smartly. It's amazing. And in this way, you can enjoy Google Pixel 3 look on any Android device. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button below. Do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.